Well, you can't beat starting a day on the bank with a fish on the mat, can you? We're down here at the picturesque front lake at East Delft Fisheries, fishing for scaly bangers like this. It's the middle of June, it's warm, the fish are active, it's a great time to be out. And when I've got this one back, I'm gonna get stuck into my top 10 tips for summer fishing. Now, some of these tips that I'm gonna give you might help you put more carp on the bank, and some of them might just help you have a more pleasurable experience while you're on the bank enjoying your summer carp fishing. So, as I said, I'm gonna get some catch photos of this one, get a slip back, then we're gonna get stuck into them. Let's do this. Right, now that we've got that fish back nice and safely, it's time to get stuck into my top 10 tips for summer carp fishing. Now, you might call these tips, some of you might call them essential items, but however you wanna label them, the bits of information I'm about to pass on to you will help you enjoy and make the most of your summer carp fishing. These tips are in no particular order, but what I would say really is my number one piece of advice for fishing during the warmer months is to take plenty of drinking water with you. Now as carp anglers, we all take water with us to have a brew with, but in the warmer months, I especially make sure that I've got plenty of extra drinking water with me. It's not like being out on the bank in the autumn and the winter where it's nice and cool. With the sun beating down on you, you're gonna sweat a lot and you're at risk of dehydration if you're not taking on plenty of drinking water. So I don't wanna be ending up at the end of the day with a nasty headache or at worst sunstroke, which is gonna make me not concentrate on my fishing and it's gonna make sure I'm not having a nice time on the bank. So stay hydrated, folks. Well, staying on the subject of the sun and staying protected from its rays is something I take really seriously when I'm fishing in the summer. When I'm out on the bank, the last thing I wanna be thinking about is whether I'm getting sunburnt or not. I do carry sun cream with me. Problem with sun cream, I find, you know, it's sticky. You don't want to be putting it on your hands and then touching your bait or vice versa. You don't want to be handling bait, then putting sun cream on and essentially rubbing fish oils all over your arms and stuff like that. So what I choose to go with instead is just to dress accordingly. And starting with the top, what I'm wearing now, I'm wearing the half zip top from Tracker with a UV protection. It's a long sleeve top. It's got a nice high neck on it as well. It's moisture wicking, it's cool. I was wearing this yesterday in absolute searing heat and I wasn't overly hot or anything like that, but what I was was protected from the sun. One thing I always take with me whenever I'm fishing all year round is my polarised glasses. I always carry two pairs with me, and this is because they have different uses. The pair that I wear the most are the classics. They've got grey lenses. These are great for just sitting around in really bright conditions when you're watching the water from the comfort of your bivvy or sat in your swim, or for just general wear. These are the ones I go to. But when it comes to fish spotting, when I'm either stalking around, looking for them in the edge where the light might be a bit dappled or it's a little bit shady or it's a little bit overcast, it's always the amber lenses that I reach for. One thing I've always got with me throughout the warmer months is my six foot propel stalking rod. The six footer is perfect for targeting carp in the edge. And especially at this time of year in the warmer months, the carp are often seeking the sanctuary of those overhanging trees, weedy little spots in the edges, just seeking a little bit of sanctuary and comfort. With the six footer, you can get in those often inaccessible spots, but you just wouldn't be able to get in with a 12 foot rod. You just wouldn't be able to, you know, maneuver it around the bankside vegetation as well as you'd like to, and as well as you can with a six foot rod. Fishing right tight in the edge, in and around snags or marginal cover is really exciting. Sometimes you even get to watch the fish taking the hook bait and believe me, when that line starts ripping and you lift into a fish on that six foot rod, it is adrenaline fueled carp fishing. Your heart will be pumping out of your chest. The six foot rod comes with me on every single session. And if you carry a stalking rod like that with you to maximize those opportunities, you're gonna put a couple of extra carp on the bank every season that you wouldn't have caught just in your swim with your 12 footers. Sticking with the theme of stalking, another item that I'd never be out on the bank and a top tip for me is the Signet baiting pole. Now this allows me to place baits with precision almost silently right in those little in the edge spots. You don't want to be casting loads of times or making loads of little underarm flicks and disturbing any carp that might be feeding there, spooking them away from the spot and perhaps ruining your chance of getting a bite. But with the baiting pole you can literally push it in over the heads you know, almost while they're still feeding, wait for your opportunity, drop the bait, ship the pole back and the bait is on the spot. And believe me, I've had some very, very quick takes when fishing in this manner. If you've got a baiting pole, 
always make sure you've got it with you in the warmer months for when you're maximising those stalking opportunities and if you've not got one I would suggest you get one. Moving on let's talk bait. One thing I love to do with all of my baits in the warmer months is add a generous helping of liquid attractors and I like to use a combination of oils and heavier food based liquids. Now the oil I'm using on this session is a nice high grade salmon oil and I'm combining that with a heavier tuna hydroslate. With the warm water what we've got in these warm weather conditions it actually helps to disperse those oils and send those scent trails throughout the water column a lot quicker and a lot more efficiently than it does when the water is a lot cooler. Now what that should hopefully do and what I believe it does is helps to pull in the carp to those baited areas which will hopefully result in a few more fish on the bank in the warmer months. So we've talked about getting your stalking rod, your baiting pole, your bait. You could be lugging that all around the lake with your landing net, your retainer, your unhooking mat and any other little bits and bobs you might need with you. And you know, in the warmer months, to be fair, that's a little bit of ag. So one thing I like to do is I like to get it all on the barrow to stay as mobile and be able to move as quickly as possible around the lake. I've just got myself one of the new X-Trail compact barrows from Tracker and it is absolutely fantastic for that purpose. Obviously, you can load it up with your bed chair and your bivvy and everything else when you're doing regular sessions or when you move into your swim. But for stalking, I like to just take everything out and put in just the items that I need for stalking keep everything lashed onto the barrow and it means I've not got my hands full when I'm walking around the lake if I want to check out spots in the edge I've not got to put everything down on the floor to be able to get to those spots you know have a look around then go and sort of pick everything up into my hands again I can just keep it all on the barrow essentially I'm fishing from the barrow keeping everything nice neat compact and if I decide it's time to move it's just a simple case of putting the rod and the baiting pole and the landing net back on the barra, lashing it over with a bungee cord and I can just move to the next spot freely without handballing everything around the lake and getting in a bit of a sweaty mess. So another summer carp fishing essential for me is this little bag right here. Well, it's not actually the bag itself, it's actually what's in it, what counts. Now what's in it are my hay fever tablets, absolute essential if you're anything like me and you suffer from hay fever and you've been out on the bank when you've not had your hay fever medication you'll know it's an uncomfortable place to be you know runny nose streaming eyes it's not a good look and it's not going to be conclusive to helping you catch carp i spoke about getting dehydrated earlier and getting headaches if that does happen paracetamol take on some water go and sit down lie down in the bivy for a little bit and hopefully that headache goes away and you're back to fishing your best also do carry some effervescent multivitamin tablets so if you do get dehydrated when you're on the bank say drop one of them in a bottle of water take on some fluids go and chill out hopefully that will replenish all the vitamins and minerals in your body and get you back to feeling your best and also in this pack i carry some sun cream i also like to carry some insect repellent or mozzie spray whatever you want to call it we all know how bad the mozzies can be in the warmer months so it's a bit of a last ditch resort because i don't like spraying it on but it will keep the mosquitoes away from you uh, we'll keep them at bay while you're stalking those carp in the edge. While we're on the subject of mosquitoes and things that like to fly and bite and generally try and eat you alive when you're on the bank fishing for carp in the warmer months, one thing I would advocate is the use of a shelter with an insect panel at the front. Now, this obviously enables you to keep an eye on the water but keep those insects out of your bivvy, especially at night when you've got your head torch on and that is like a magnet for those mosquitoes. They'll see the light, fly in and then before you know it you've got a shelter that's infested with them and they're going to try and eat you alive. You're not going to get a comfortable night's sleep, you're not going to want to sit there tying rigs or anything like that, it's just going to be hell on earth, believe me, you don't want it. I'm using the Tempest 150 today. I've got the inset panel zipped into the front. Now this is a great inset panel because it's got a magnetic closure. So if you do need to exit the shelter for whatever reason, you just burst out through the magnetic opening and the shelter just, the doors just snap shut behind you, keeping those insects out of your bivvy. Sticking with the subject of my shelter, as you can probably see, the Tempest 150 has four large ventilation panels. Now these are brilliant for when you're fishing in the warmer months. You can open them up, let a bit of air flow through the bivvy and keep nice and cool as opposed to being in a dark, sweaty shelter, just being generally miserable on the bank. Nice and cool with the ventilation panels open and the added bonus is they've got insect mesh within them. So when it comes to the evening, you can have that insect panel on the front, open up all the vents in the side, still keeping the airflow through, but nothing's going to be able to get into the bivvy to try and eat you alive and drink your blood. My final piece of advice, 
when it comes to making the most of your time on the bank when you're carp fishing in the summer months is to enjoy yourself. Now I know that sounds obvious, but it's something that we often forget to do when we're in pursuit of these fish. We often forget to look after ourselves you know, and forget to live in the moment. Summer, for me, is all about socialising, it's all about enjoying time with friends and what brings people together better than a nice bit of grub. Whether that takes the form of a barbecue, you know, some nice burgers, a bit of chicken on there, or whether you're frying up a bit of steak or making yourself up a nice toasty for you and your mates, having a bit of grub on the bank is something to look forward to at the end of the day. It brings people together and really, for me, that's what carp fishing in the summer is all about. So there we go, look at that. An absolutely beautiful carp stalked just inches from the bank on that little Propel six foot stalker rod. I really hope that you've enjoyed and maybe even got something out of our 10 top tips for getting the most out of your summer angling. And if you think there's any tips that we've left out, let us know, tell us in the comments below. But for now, I'm gonna go and get this one slipped back. And like I said in tip 10, I'm gonna go light that barbecue and celebrate. Catch you next time.